Hey guys, my name is Pablo. I want to show you something before we start. My tattoo that says, by his grace I live. The reason why I have this is because of, because of the grace of God, I wouldn't be alive right now. I want to show you a couple of examples. First example is, around six months old, I'm very known to roll around when I'm sleeping. So my mom set me on my, on my changing table, which is about three feet off the ground. And one second, I'm perfectly laying down, okay. Next second, my mom hears a thump, and it's me hitting the floor. I'm covered in blood on the back of my head. She takes me to the hospital, and the doctor says, he might be paralyzed for the rest of his life. But the doctor was wrong. Um, four days afterwards, I start moving my fingers, and I'm walking perfectly fine. As you can see, <laughs> no, no paralyzed. Now, through my, through the years, my younger years, I, my parents were very involved in the church. My mom was a pastor, my dad was a pastor. My mom was always involved in the church as whatever she, my dad needed help with. My brothers and sisters were part of the worship team, all, everything, perfect family, except me. Cause I really thought that church was taking, taking my family away from me. God was taking my family away from me. I was completely alone because I didn't feel the same way my parents and my brothers and sisters did. To the point that at the age of 11, well, it was only now my mom, my dad, and me in the States because my brothers and sisters stayed in Peru. Um, even more to the point that I didn't have a mom and dad because they were always at the church, helping out the church. I was dragged along but didn't want to be there because I felt like God was taking everyone of my family away from me. So I wanted to vo fill that void. The only way I'd be able to fill that void was with drugs and alcohol. So I, I found a guy in, when I was going to middle school, his name was Alex. We had the same likes with drugs and alcohol, music and all this, to the, to the point that we became best friends just because of our love of uh, drugs, I guess. We always say that, but it's funny but true. Um, we, I, was a, I was the age of 17, and actually that one of those weeks, we both work, broke up with our girlfriends in the same week, and we were really depressed and wanted to fill a void again that drugs always filled for us. To the point that I did some drugs that weekend, and I stopped and I passed out. And when I passed out and woke up, I wanted to do some more, but I couldn't, because something was covered over me, and I felt it. I didn't know what it was at the time, but at the time I knew it was God. But afterwards, I knew it was God. But when I woke up the next morning to go find my best friend Alex, he was passed out in a bathtub, covered in his vomit and dead. Yeah. My best friend Alex, for four and a half years, was dead in a bathtub. My best friend died. It was hard. It was one of the hardest things I ever had to go through. His death was so hard that it, it made me reconsider my friendship with people, but not reconsider my friendship and love with Christ. Uh, not only did I recommit my life to Christ, but um, Alex's mom actually started a nonprofit to help kids with depression and drug abuse not in, the state, in the city of Miami. Some of my friends have recommitted a life to have committed a life to Christ actually because of that. The reason why I recommitted my life to Christ is because of one man and one man only. His name is Desmond Thomas. Uh, he's my youth pastor. Even through my drug abuse, he always wanted to take me away from drugs, but I never wanted anything to do with him. But when I wanted to change my life, he was there with open arms to receive me and give me the love of Christ that I was missing in my life. Without him, I wouldn't be here right now. I thank God every day for him. And even to today, he, every choice that I make, other than God giving me wisdom, is I always turn to him for his wisdom as well. So today, life is great. I have a great church family that loves me and cares about me and wants to know about me every day. I go to the College of Life Church. I also run sound for you guys. I'm actually back there for you guys. I'm waving, actually. Hi. Uh, and God's been fulfilling everything in my life that any of the dreams in my life that I've had with music that I've, I ever wanted to happen to me. And I can't thank him enough for everything he's done in my life. And I want to thank you for just listening to my testimony. And again, my name is Pablo Moretti. You have a nice day.